In this short video I am going to discuss 3 cave locations in this map and 2 extra locations that I think are quite OP if you build in the area. If you guys like these base locations and will use them make sure to let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think of it. Also make sure to drop a like let's aim for 200 likes. Make sure to subscribe as well each one helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a fire dragon monocular. To win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned servers? If you are then I got the best option for you and that is Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting even if you're new to hosting it is perfect for you since it is very easy to learn and super user friendly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is also quite cheap. If you're trying to host more games than unturned they also have Rust, Arc, Minecraft and much more. Where you can purchase. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is that we can install plugins and mods literally just by one click. If you have servers with another host you don't have to worry because they will provide personal help to move your servers. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and be sure to use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video. Alright hey everybody welcome to the first cave that we're going to discuss. Don't mind that some stuff is just floating around but basically this location is next to Parkwood. This location is very good Parkwood, you can get a lot of the items. There's also a dead zone very, very, very close. So you can always go there, get loot easily. And there's also Red Grove Airfield. From these three locations, you should literally be set for every single item in this map. Obviously, there's a few items that you can get from these three locations, but pretty good location. There's also a safe zone exit from here too. So, very good location. I recommend this place 10 out of 10. But basically, I do have some tips for this. First of all, as you guys may see, it is a cave. It's a pretty small cave, to be honest. But if you do a lot of airlocks, especially with triangular airlocks, then it is very, very, very strong. You would literally have a strong base, especially if you use metal, if you do sentries, and you don't really require a lot of material for it. One tip that I do have is that when you're about to come build is that you don't just place it like this even though one is enough you actually put it a bit higher up and that way it kind of gives you a stronger entrance you can just later on just put for example sandbags in order to jump in and just put a doorway there or however you would like it sometimes they may look a bit like they're buggy but it's completely fine if you just play around a little bit and make sure that it's okay then you'll be able to get in but yeah i do like this location a lot of probably just start running around you can obviously wall stack with this toe if you play around with it well but this is one of the caves it's probably my favorite cave next we're going to the other cave which is over at tkr industrial this cave was actually nerfed because it was quite op this one is a bit larger and this one has two entrances obviously i do recommend doing the same with this but this one what i do recommend is that you just completely seal off one side and then have the other one the smaller one where over here you would just place the doorway just like that and then obviously you can extend all the way out here making more airlocks but this one is a bit larger than the other one there's also a stone node in here which you can farm metal while being inside your base but i do prefer this one for its size this one is at a location just at tk industrial there's also a safe zone entrance here and the dead zone kind of close as well vernon farm everett and red grove airfield are also close and the third and final cave that we have is this one one right over here this one is also very close to tkr industrial so there are two caves that are very very close to each other this one does go i think a little bit deeper yeah you can this one i think is the largest cave actually and obviously this one you can also just do this and your base is literally kind of even more safe you can just keep doing this and have this little slot here for more lockers with this you can actually do a lot more defense as well this one is also close to take our industrial everett and the safe zone entrance and red grove airfield so as soon as the servers start i do recommend that you guys try to get to one of these i definitely will be you can also build this quite higher up do a tower do whatever you want but i do like this location as well next we're going to go to two locations which i think are actually quite strong if you build the base really well it could be very op but obviously these are my opinions if you guys are a big group i recommend doing these actually as well the first place that i would like to mention is this one right over here it is literally just on a rock but over here there is a slot where you can actually build you can build whatever large tower you want from here if you just place that and then put yourself a bunch of roofs here as well 
it's good. You can extend two sky bases from here. So just having a bunch of roofs and just build off a little bit. You actually have sky base ready. But over here is also quite strong. This location is quite good. You're close to Red Grove Airfield, safe zone entrance and park wood as well. And obviously there's a dead zone kind of close. TKR. I can't wait to see massive towers built on this place. Obviously over here you can always camp out people that are trying to access the safe zone. The next location we're going to go to is very close to Wall in this is also like basically there's a arch underneath you and with this you can just build a base do whatever you want with it and you have all of walk-in right under you from here you can just snipe into walk-in over there is also parkwood so you can also basically see people coming from parkwood to walk in and it is quite high up underneath you is just basically a bridge and i think it'll look very cool up there players can only go from one side or the other side so if you just have a sentry looking at both sides you're basically pretty much covered obviously these base locations i do recommend them building for everyone but if you're a clan or if you're a big group then i do think that these locations are going to be very strong for you guys to easily dominate the server if you're a solo you can do it obviously as well other than that there are a lot of other places you can build such as the islands the islands you can easily take them over going to be close to the safe zone and to the dead zone tier 2 so if you build on this island and you hear shots happening over on the dead zone, you can easily snipe from here. Or if you go on that headland over there, or you can easily just counter people trying to do a dead zone run. There are also a lot of unmarked military locations around, so feel free to build close to those. There's one right over here where I am. There's another one very close to Parkwood. And there are obviously the military tunnels at the side, one over here and one over here. Personally, I have built a base over here between Camp Crystal and Red Grove Airfield and it was such an OP tactic. The reason is that from here we can just go to the dead zone very easily and go to Red Grove Airfield as well. You can easily kill people too that are trying to go to the dead zone and obviously if you hear shots you can counter as well. I do recommend building close to Fort Marston as well. Obviously the corners are always a nice place to build. You can also put underwater bases there's a lot of underwater happening in this map but yeah i can't wait to see what you guys built on this map if you guys do build something extraordinary on a server feel free to let me know in my comment section below and we can actually do a base tour video that is going to be for my second channel you can also join my discord and contact me over there but basically i want to start a series on my second youtube channel where over there we can do a pretty interesting base tour where you show me your base if it's a vanilla server or a 10 times with server i don't really care there's a lot of new type of buildables in this map which you can make your base look very very good there's a lot of decorations as well and there's also the ldg poster that you can find at parkwood so i would love to see you guys having a base with the ldg post it would be very cool to see but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you guys did enjoy obviously this video was recorded before the map launch so there may be some changes here and there such as new caves maybe the, the current caves can change get larger or smaller but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!